Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your mid-June 2018 reading. Um, I've already pulled the card, so let's get started. Okay. Um, Alright, so we've got for love, we've got the past, the present, and the future. Then we have our uh, career and finance messages, and then we have our additional support. So let's go ahead and jump into the past. Temperance, death the star wow all major cons okay so in the past you had a lot of things shifting changing for you um a lot of you were praying for balance uh praying for answers and praying and manifesting what you really wanted here with the star some of you could be dealing with uh, an aquarius if not you just you knew that you wanted to put an end to a certain situation and have a new beginning uh, most likely wish fulfillment or something that puts you on your right path uh, Scorpio Sagittarius is here also let's move forward oh, the bottom of the deck the page of sword so um there might be some gossip. There might be somebody spying. There might be just you doing research into something. I don't know. Let's see. Presently, we have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Uh, for some of you, you might have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who... You're not taken to any of their advances. You know that their advances are one that is only, it serves not just you, but something or someone else. Um, you're also trying to find balance here. You're trying to heal in, the, in, in your recent past. You're okay with being single right now. Um, you're abundant. You've, you've created great abundance for yourself. And you're waiting for partnership. The three of swords is upright. I, I really think there is someone or something trying to put you in a situation presently that just doesn't serve you. It serves them. It's not... Uh, it's not, okay, it's not a legitimate relationship. It's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship. It's not building together. It's not foundational. It's it's um it's self-serving for for this person. And that's why you're not taken to the advance. Because you already know what the advance is. It's it's jumping back into a situation that just doesn't serve you. Also also keep in mind that there might be something or someone here who um, who better fits you who fits you better who's a better fit into your life or there's a better offer a better fit don't be don't keep, be concerned with a situation that no longer fulfills you this could be in career and finance too uh, sever the ties, separation, divorce, maybe due to infidelity. You needing to practice caution in your relationship. Future, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so in the future, you have a new offer. An offer blessed by the heavens. Something you've been praying for. Something you that sets you on your right path here. Uh, in the past, this is what you were working on. This is what Spirit was working on with you and for you. Take the offer. Make something of it. Grow it. Uh, mature it. Could be with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Um, you could be purchasing a home. Getting a new job. Moving. With the Six of Swords. Getting a new home. And I said that car. Solidifying a relationship. Just moving into a more peaceful and placid uh, state of being. 
So in the near future, you jump from divorce, separation, the need to practice caution to just, you know, I'm moving away from the four swords, the five of swords, you know, I, I need peace and serenity. Sounds like an Aries. Move quick, fast out of there. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. You you very well could just be working on yourself. Put in the time, the effort into yourself, into a new business, into a new job, into a new home, into something new and foundational. Working hard. It's as if you become single here or you you put yourself or you you are in a situation where you were you are abundant you know and and you become single but now you start to think about all the things you can do to even improve yourself whether that's physically mentally emotionally uh career wise you just in the near future, you go from, okay, yeah, I'm single, I'm abundant, I'm this, I'm that. But, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm always open to betterment. All right, career and finance. Page of Swords again. Do your research, the hermit. Going within and trying to put it all together. Uh, Ten of Swords. There's an ending here. And then a Seven of Wands. Little apprehension. Um, being standoffish. Standing your ground in regards to maybe this ending you've gone within and you you've put together how the past has happened for you and what part you played in it what you did wrong what you did not do the hermit is on a spiritual journey by way of self-reflection so you go you reflect on what you did in your past how things turned out for you in your past what you didn't do, which measures you did take or didn't take. This lantern is filled with experience, not just with. And not the hermit is seeking, you know, guidance from within. It's not really an outward act here with the her. Of course, the the word the hermit, you know. The hermit crab you go within you just try to figure it out from within all right additional supportive cards take the next step now whatever that means to you six of swords move away take the next step now put the work the energy the time into yourself okay um be true to you yeah be true to you and it looks like with nine of pentacles the hermit card the eight of pentacles you definitely worried about self self-improvement betterment uh get some rest some of you are not sleeping or not resting as much um so much to do so many things to tie up healing from the past and then we have a star in the past definitely heal from whatever happened whatever situation you were put in or you put yourself in there are no victims only volunteers um heal from that deal with it deal with the emotions uh, moving some of you are actually what i say ace of pentacles six of swords actually moving you have to do a lot for this move too um it's pretty self-explanatory either you're physically moving or you're moving away from or you're not you know, moving away from mentally, emotionally, moving, moving in a different direction, moving up in a company, moving, just moving. So if you, and then at the bottom of this deck, body changes. When your body starts talking and changing, listen to it. Um, body, body changes here. Uh, in the bottom of this deck for career and finance, we have the Knight of Swords. They the page in the night. I think you gather some information. You stand up for yourself. You hear the the naysayers. You hear the gossip, the rumors, and you and you just go and give your truth about this situation. Maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or maybe an air sign comes in rushing to you with their truth in regards to a situation, uh, career, finance here. 
Okay, Aries. So this sums up the reading. I'm going to clarify, pull cards over at Patreon. So the link is going to be in the description box. Thank you once again for uh, taking time out to view the video. It's much appreciated. Head on over to Patreon. It's, I don't, it's not that much. Um, I don't even, honestly, I don't know how I work that stuff. I just put the videos up. I don't even know how much y'all are paying. I don't know. I, <laughs> I know it sounds horrible. Um, yeah, head on over. I think it's like $2, $3, something like that. You know, whatever. Just come on over. Get some more clarity. You want to know what this is about, and this is about, and this is about. Pull more cards. And hey, you know. It's a dollar, it's two dollars, it's whatever. I don't know. But it's not expensive. I know some people have their readings. Um, some readers I watch, you know, you head over to the next place where they're clarifying it. It's twenty dollars. It's like should I just request a personal reading? You know, like this is I think a bit excessive. But whatever. Who am I to say that though? You know. Anyway, uh, remember Aries when in doubt pray I am praying for you pray for me as well take care we'll talk to you uh, in July I'm going to try to do some love readings like quick three card love readings I don't know anyway take care guys